Well, folks, this is the one we've all been waiting for. The BCS National Championship here in New Orleans. Our matchup features the Alabama Crimson Tide and the LSU Tigers. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. Throws left, picked off. He's into the open field. Not a good decision there. Why'd he even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. They'll throw on first down. He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. The defense let the quarterback scramble in for the score. The defense had the offense beat there initially. It took a great run to get that in. Again with a carry. The five. Touchdown time. Good play call here by the offensive coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. You can feel it in the air tonight as we're only one half away from crowning the national champion. Our halftime score, Alabama 10, LSU 7. He's looking to pass. Looks middle, got his back. Has some daylight. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. It has the distance, and it's good. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. Back to pass, and the quarterback gets sacked again. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. He drops back. Defense coming, and the ball comes out. Here he goes, and he's all the way in for the touchdown. For the game, a miss will mean overtime. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. Alabama is the national champion. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Alabama made the journey and finished it off with the national championship. It really couldn't have happened to a better bunch of kids in a classier school than this. They battled all year. Whenever it got tough, they came together and came out on top. And now they're on top of the polls, the world, everything. Congratulations to our national champion. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 12. I'm Brad Nessler saying so long. For Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews, we'll see you next time.